All right guys, so we're back with a brand new video. So I'm gonna show you guys how to set up a new pseudo user account. The reason why you wanna do this is you don't want to ever have to use the root account, okay? And the, what we're gonna do is we're gonna disable the root account later, but we're gonna to need to create a new pseudo user first. So if you don't know what your user password is, you can simply just do sudo hyphen i pass to bd and just change it. Okay, there we go. I changed it. So now I can easily switch between accounts because before uh, I'm not sure what my root password was because we were using SSH to log in. Okay, so we didn't really have, I think, a default password for root, but I just set the password for root right now. And so you guys can do the same too. So remember, so just make sure you store that password somewhere safe, remember it. You might need it at some point because disabling root login with SSH is different than actually being able to log into a different account and then switching to the root user. They're completely different. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply just do add user and I'm just gonna go ahead and say Anson. And there you go. You can see that, uh, adding user, adding new group, Anson, adding new user, Anson. Okay, so you can see that I actually already had the account made already, but I deleted it. But that's why it's saying the home directory slash home slash Anson already exists. I'm gonna type a password and it's gonna ask us for a bunch of different information. We're just gonna skip through it. So now I can simply just do SU Anson and it's going to allow me to just switch into that account. If I type ls, it's going to say permission denied. If I type sudo ls and if I type my password, it's going to say Anson is not in the sudoers file. This incident will be reported. Okay, but you can see that I can go inside home and I can go inside my other Anson account and I can, you know, do whatever I want. I can go ahead and create a new file. So touch hello world.txt and I can even open up this file in Vim and just simply type some stuff. We say hello, my name is Anson, and then quit that, and I can just simply do that. You see the contents of that file. Don't worry about this though, I'm just showing you guys what you can do. You can make a directory, call it projects, okay, and then CD in there. You can do basically whatever you want. So now let's actually switch back to the root account. So I switched back in. Remember, I typed in my password that I set for the root account. And we want to basically add uh, the account that we just made to the sudo group. So we're going to do, let's first exit out of here. Go back to our main directory. And I'm going to do user mod hyphen ag sudo and then anson. So now we can actually use sudo to do whatever we want. So I can do sudo, sudo ls. Obviously, these commands might not really... Uh, do much because we already have privileges to ls inside this directory over here but if you ever need to do certain things that require pseudo privileges then you need to make sure you add the user account to the pseudo group all right so let's actually try to log into our account right now so we just created our new anson account let's try to ssh to that account instead of using root because we are going to have to disable root so let's type ssh anson and then you can see in our ip address over here you can see that it says permission denied public key. The reason why this is happening is because on our new account, we don't have any authorized keys. So let's go back into our root account real quick and let's just go into the main directory. And you can see that I have this .ssh folder. It's the same thing that we have in our main desktop over here. Okay, if I CD into this folder and if I type ls, you're gonna see we have this authorized keys file and if i do cat authorized keys you're going to see the contents of this file this has our sh key that we generated in the last episode and we pasted it in when we created our new droplet okay so what we want to do is you just want to copy this okay and you can actually just copy this entire file or this entire folder into the new uh, Anson account or your new user account that you just made. But what we're going to do is we're simply just going to go ahead and SU into Anson. I'm going to go into the main folder. Okay, so if you type PWD, you're going to see it's going to, it should say slash home slash and then your username. Okay, you can just do CD and then this little tilde sign. And I'll take you to your uh, home, your main directory. And I'm going to go and just create a new directory called SSH. And if you type ls hyphen al, you're going to see the directory over here. So let's cd into .ssh folder. 
So now I'm just going to create a new file called authorized underscore keys, the same thing that we saw in the other account. So you can use whatever text editor you want. You can use nano or vim. I would highly suggest uh, if you're just starting out with, you know, Linux commands and you're not too familiar with, you know, vim or, you know, t terminal text editors, just use nano. So let me just create a new file called authorized keys. So now if I do ls, you're going to see that files over there. So we're going to do nano authorized keys. Let's paste this in here. And let's do control X to exit and we're going to save it. There you go. So if I do cat authorized keys, you can see my SSH keys over there. So all I did was that nano authorized keys. I pasted my SSH key in there, the public one, and I did control X. You can see down over here, it gives you uh, the commands and what they do. So in nano, if you want to exit the text editor, you do control X. Okay. And then it asked you yes or no. Do you want to save? I typed Y and there you go. Now, if I try to SSH into my Anson account, you're going to see right over here, it's going to ask us for our passphrase. It's the same one that you had set up when you generated the SSH keys. And there you go. So welcome to Ubuntu. It tells you about the system and everything. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully this made sense for you guys. And if you have any issues, just let me know in the comments or join my Discord server. And I'll be happy to help you guys out. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.